According to a recent special report in The Economist magazine, democracy is going through a difficult time. The report points out with examples that unfortunately around the world, where autocrats have been driven out of office, their opponents have mostly failed to create viable democratic regimes. Indeed, it appears that even in established democracies, flaws in the system have become quite visible and are bringing dissolution and political stress. With the fortunes of democracy dwindling, Franklin Roosevelt, the 32nd President of the United States, worried in 1941 that it might not be possible to shield the great flame of democracy from the blackout of barbarism. However, democracy rebounded toward the end of the 20th century as communism failed and was abandoned all around the world. Even so, new events have emerged to threaten democracy again, as many nominal democracies tend to look like autocracy. According to The Economist magazine, many nations maintain the outward appearance of democracy through elections, but forget the rights and institutions that are equally important aspects of a functioning democratic system. There may be no problems if the people are happy. After all, what the people want is to have a governance system that promotes and adds to their happiness. When this does not happen, the people act and may even overthrow seemingly strong systems as we saw recently in much of North Africa, especially in Egypt. Democracy can be quite fragile or even unrecognizable outside the West, as we are seeing in the Ukraine. In many parts of Africa, what has become familiar is a democracy that ensures that the incumbent leader always wins the election, never minding the poverty, desperation, and misery of the people. There may be a solution to this. Perhaps Africa should formulate and legalize a type of democracy based on performance. Let us call it PDD, that is performance driven democracy. What many poor African countries need right now is at least an 8% real GDP growth rate per year with job creation targets. We would however permit the targets to be changed as things evolve. In this arrangement, if a leader at the national level fails to meet his targets, he would be required to face an election. So an election is called only if set targets are missed. I believe firmly in democracy, as it is the best model available for Africa. But China has shown that you can have strong economic progress using their own not-so-democratic systems. China has been doubling living standards roughly every decade for the past 30 years. However, Africa cannot use the Chinese model. It won't work in Africa. What Africa needs is to see how performance-based democracy can ensure private sector vibrancy and sustainable economic progress. I'm Magnus Packel, and that's my view.